Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Face Sister Just and in this video I'll be showing you the walkthrough for the quest A Paragon of Her Kind, Anvil of the Void and the two side quests Asunder and Asunder and the, 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 an Admiral Topsider well this is only part one since we'll be heading to Caradine's Cross then after that to Orton Feig That would be he. Uh, didn't see you because uh, that's how you bust someone up. And what do you want in return? Sounds like we have a deal. Let's get going. Now I'm not going to take uh, Alcorn. Even though I should probably take Alcorn. Hold on. Then I'm just going to kick Alistair out and place Alcorn. There we go. But he will travel with you. But in any case, we're heading to Deep Roads. And we're going to Caradine's Cross. Now here we will be able to get two extra uh, bloody bags of limbs. We will be able to get the Warrior's Grave, which will start the quest in Admiral Topsider, and we will also be able to get one part of the of the blade that we need to bring back. And we will also be heading for the Drifter's Cache now. This is a large area, so I'm just going to go through it, killing everyone. And then I'll show you pretty much where it is on the map and how it looks like. So I'll see you soon. Okay, for the cache, the first rubble that you need to click on is located right here on the map. So here is the entrance, you go to the left and right over here. Examine it and you will get the cross hunt drifters Which is basically a quest related note which will give you a cash now There are four of these rubbles that you can click on which will actually give you the location of the thing Okay, the next set of rubble is located right here by this little entrance Here it is on the map right on over here so just doop and you'll get another codex update okay to get one of the pieces for the hilt you're going to want to kill again lock emissary which is located right around here in this area so here is the entrance right on over here again lock emissary get the top sider's hilt and we're good to go okay so one of the small bloody sacks <coughs> is located right on over here now here is the entrance to Orton Feig we're going to skip that for now as you can see I kinda went like this although I should have went over here then over here but it doesn't matter one of the small bloody sacks is right on over here where I'm standing and here it is just loot it and you'll gain the torso Okay, and over here is the third pile of rubble that you can find all the way over here in this little small corner. Well, this is technically the fourth one since we missed the third one. The third one is somewhere over here, but I haven't gone there yet, and I will do so now. Okay, the next pile of rubble that you need to click on is located right here in the center. It is right here, so let us click on it. And then I will start to quest the Drifter's Cache. Now the Drifter's Cache should be marked on the map and it's located right on over here. Now I will go and get it right now. So I'll see you there. Okay, here we are and here is the Drifter's Cache. Here we will get the Throne of the Dead Gods, a Diamond Mouse, Efforts Gloves, Ring of the Warrior and some Sir Shot Bolts. Massive damage to Darkspawn. And that will complete the quest. 
Okay, here is the last bloody sack that we will need and we will be able to complete this quest pretty soon. It's located right on over here. So we will just get it. It's a head in a bag and you will actually start the quest asunder. So right on over here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we did everything we could do in Karadin's Cross. We actually... Uh, we got completed the quest asunder. We... Well, we didn't complete it, but we got all of the parts. We'll complete it in Orton Tyke. We did the Drifter's Cache and... Well, that's essentially it. Uh, in the next video, we will be exploring the Orton Tyke where we will do the quest of Mother's Hope, Lost to the Memories, and we will be continuing the main quest as well. And we will actually start uh, the Outsider quest, and we will find the thing that we need to find. We will also do the Places of Power quest, and that's about it for this video. We did everything, now we're just going to head to Orton Tyke.